Hey, Nutrition and Jesus fam, welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about nutrition, faith, workout, vlogs, and more. So on today, I'll be sharing with you guys my first and second trimester. Basically, this video is like a recap, just sharing with you guys um, certain things that transpired during the first trimester. And now that I'm on my second trimester, I am currently 27 weeks. Actually, 26 so going week, on 27, 27 weeks. And then after that 27 week, I'll be ushering into my third trimester so i'll be on my last lap um my baby due date is october 5th so that's when my baby is due i'm excited you know so much has happened in between from finding out i was pregnant to currently being 26 weeks pregnant um all i'm, I'm like it's a new season new space for me and i'm so excited about it so moving on to the first trimester so the very first trimester um was when I basically you know when I found out I was pregnant um I didn't know I was pregnant actually I found out I thought I, when I when I actually found out I was pregnant I thought I was I think I thought I was like four weeks but when I actually went to get it confirmed with the doctors I found out well to the clinic I went through I went to I found out that I was actually six weeks pregnant and I was like shocked. So when I found out I was pregnant, the clues were before I even decided to take a pregnancy test. And that was like the, you could call it the implantation stage was I noticed at that time I was working at a um, car dealership and I noticed I would get tired easily and I would just be wanting a nap. And I'll be like, this is not normal for me to be wanting a nap like this during the day. And um, as well, my appetite of wanting to eat increased and I was peeing more, but I didn't think it was due to um, me being pregnant. I was just like, okay, this is weird. But the main um, flash, the main, you could say flag for me that something was up and something different was happening was the over obsessiveness of being tired throughout the day and was just wanting to sleep and not really do nothing, just wanting to sleep. So eventually, I think it was on a Friday, I came from work. I was like, you know what? I've been tired lately. My appetite for wanting to eat has increased. And then that's when it hit me. I was like, oh my God, I'm, I haven't seen my period. <laughs> what happened? I haven't seen my period lately. So I was like, okay, you know what? I went to the nearest family dollar around the area where I used to live. And I went there, purchased a clear blue pregnancy test because I'm the type, I just want to know pregnant, not pregnant and get it over with. I didn't want to have to read the lines, one line, two lines, no, pregnant, not pregnant. So I brought the pregnancy test and that Friday I went, when I got home, peed on a stick and I was like, okay, I'm waiting in the bathroom. I have the stick in my hand and it says pregnant. I'm looking at the stick y'all and I'm shocked. I'm like, I'm pregnant. And I, I was just in a state of shock at that moment, like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. And um, and the reason I was a little bit more even shocked, because at that time when I got pregnant, the father of my kid, well, actually when I found out that I was pregnant, me and the father of this current baby was no longer together. We had, we had broken up. So it was like, <laughs> after I break up, that's when, <laughs> that's when I, I find out I'm pregnant and I end up being pregnant. I was like, wow okay so this is definitely going to be a journey of course it's going to be a single journey of, of being a single mom and being pregnant and everything like that so went to um a clinic that was, they offer free service which was pregnancy help clinic which they're a part of miami um i believe miami heartbeat miami beat but amazing clinic great customer service so i went there took my free um pregnancy test and again to confirm it they helped me find a, another clinic that I could continuously going through, which is also the same clinic I'm currently going to right now. And they did an ultrasound for me and all that good stuff. So during my first trimester, you know, when I, from finding out I was pregnant to actually like, okay, what I'm going to do? Um, and just figuring all that out because when I found out I was pregnant, I wasn't here at this current location that I'm filming in because like my own place, I was actually, yeah, sis was out here. I was sleeping on the floor on the corner of someone's um, living room. So UK situation was not looking 
pretty right at that moment for me. And just situation at all, it didn't seem like, okay, well, you know, it didn't seem like it was possible at that moment to like, okay, go through the pregnancy. And as well, when I mentioned it to the father, the father was, you know, wanted me to have an abortion. However, I made the decision to keep my baby. And now we are here at 26, well, 26 weeks, going on 27, about to hit the third trimester. So can't wait, October 5th, baby do. So first trimester, what I noticed, um, okay, the tiredness still continue to, 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 to happen. And then my appetite continued to increase. Then came the cravings. The craving was what did it for me over the top. And I say that because, you know, before being pregnant with this and with my current baby, I am, you know, I'm a vegan and I was on my healthy track, wanting to eat healthy, wanting to eat vegan, abstain from meat and everything like that until I became pregnant. I found myself craving chicken nuggets and chicken nugget was something I never like I used to eat it back then but then I stopped eating it when I transitioned to veganism but the craving was so strong I was like no you know what I'm not gonna go eat no chicken nugget I hate chicken nuggets all that went out the window okay with these pregnancy craving I found myself in the middle of the night ordering a lift to go to a BK drive through just to get me some chicken nuggets okay so with this baby, I found myself like actually wanting me and craving me, which I was like, no, baby, no, you know, I wanted you to be a vegan like me, but you know, I gave into the cravings and besides just wanting to eat meat with this particular, with this pregnancy, I also noticed I was craving sweets a lot. Okay. So I have been eating sweets a lot. And one of the first go-to sweet that I went to when I started craving sweet was sneakers. It was basically all the things that I didn't want to eat that I abstained from as far as the sweet and the meat. This baby wanted, I was craving it. And it's like, if I didn't get it eventually, uh, it's like, it was on my mind, okay? I had to get it, okay? And I just had to figure out how to get the sweets and, and the meat that I wanted, that I was craving at that moment. So, and on top of that, so that was on the food part. So the, my food part, wanting to eat healthy, went out the window. And then I had to change my mindset during this pregnancy because I noticed after a while, I started to gain weight. Certain clothes I used to fit, didn't fit. And that was actually during the first trimester, like me gaining a little bit weight. And certain clothes, like especially shirts that I used to wear that I used to fit normally, then I couldn't button it up the way I used to no more. And it was like, okay. So I started to gain weight, but it wasn't visibly right, or like where other people could see right away because to everybody else that didn't know, because when I found out I was pregnant, of course I informed the father of the of the of, the, of my baby and then I told two other person and that was it I, during the first trimester. And everybody else came during the second during the second trimester. So yeah, that was an experience like me not fitting into my clothes and me having to get into the mindset like, okay, Vanessa, you're pregnant now, you know, um, your body's gonna have to change. Like I had to literally tell myself that because I was used to being a particular way. You know, I liked it, the fact that I was not, you know, I like being fit and being you know, in the best shape for me that fits me, that I know when I'm walking, I'm not feeling out of breath. So having to gain weight during the first trimester was something I had to like deal with. It's currently now as I'm approaching my third trimester that I have happily welcomed in. I'm like, okay, the gaining weight is a good thing. It's for my baby, you know, <laughs> after you have the baby, you could go back to like, you know, doing your whole staying fit and everything like that. And so, yeah, I had to let that mindset go, pull down that stronghold of mindset of like thinking, okay, like feeling like the body image of like, oh my God, I'm, I'm fat, you know? And just like, okay, Vanessa, you're carrying a whole life inside of you. You're carrying a human being. This is your baby. You know, there's a reason you're gaining weight. You need to gain weight, you know, so you can make sure you have a healthy baby. You know, it's like, but yes. Yeah. So on top of the cravings, the appetite, the wanting to sleep more often. Another thing that happened during my first trimester was, of course, my boobs. 
which um of course of my boobs one moment okay had an incoming car had to pick up the car so yeah so on top of all those things another thing that i noticed you know besides the body image of course with my boobs my boobs you know started to gain become more fuller you know i was like oh okay you know they, they falling into place you know they became more fuller and um what else i think that was the main thing oh tiredness of course i would feel tired from time to time and then i would pee pee was like i was peeing back and forth like it's like i live like i live in the bathroom i stayed in the bathroom because i constantly had to pee 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 throughout the night wake up and pee 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 so that was the first trimester but overall one thing i'm grateful for is that i did not experience morning sickness during my first trimester at all like there was no throwing up um one thing i could say which still kind of happens now during the second trimester is that from time to time i get like headaches once sometimes they'll be on one this side and the next side and both side you know but headaches but nothing too severe um i didn't experience any back pain it actually like from my first to now it's actually been pretty good pretty smooth thank god so you know first trimester was you know was pretty good was pretty good and it was just me getting used to the fact of me being pregnant accepting that and you know having to make the decision to me the big decision of like okay i'm gonna keep my baby no matter what i'm gonna you know do what i need to do for my baby but the, i made a decision to keep my baby and not have an abortion and so that was the thing I was batting and also on the process of um, getting my own place and dealing with that process and that stress of from like kind of first trimester to now and it is now that, you know, yeah, the Lord opened the door and blessed me with my own place. Yes. So yeah, that was pretty much the first trimester. Nothing major, no morning sickness, none of the other stuff that... They say, you know, doing your first trimester, you may experience none of that. Just like headache from time to time. Um, appetite increase, getting used to the body image, you know, having, you know, to process a lot of things, having to leave, like, um, leave one job to the next due to distance and having to move and all that good stuff. So that was the first trimester, first trimester, just getting used to it, like I said and processing everything like mentally and figuring out okay life for me what that's gonna mean for me now being pregnant and um going through this process by myself as a single mom and making the decision to keep my baby although the the father was not in agreement with keeping the baby so yes second trimester which i am now second trimester okay the still had like i mentioned still have the headache now except the fact that i am pregnant and you know like woo, i'm excited and ready for a baby um second trimester was when i found out the sex of my baby which you know i was shocked because i was hoping for one particular sex but i ended up getting another um you know but all in all it's okay like i was like okay thank you god you know why you know maybe there's a reason why although this is what i wanted but you gave me this instead so i'm just grateful either way you know and i got to see the the ultrasounds again got to see my baby moving got to see my baby five little fingers like the fingers was there you know my baby moving a lot and um has increased because during the first trimester i was like the baby's so chill you know got me kind of worried i was like is everything okay so now the baby's moving it's moving especially at night and um so yeah i'm just in a better place better season like i said i got my own place now during the second trimester so i could welcome my baby when i have my baby um i just gotta finish fixing up certain things in my room and um the cravings still have the cravings however since I moved in I have really been working really hard on going back to what I know which is the healthy eating and cutting out 
um, meat. I'm not 100% there yet because, you know, like I said, the baby craving takes over your own craving. It's like even if you wanted a particular thing, but what the baby's craving more is what you just go for, okay? It's just, you, you just can't help it. So that's what's going on in the second trimester. In the second trimester now, my stomach has, you know, I experienced discomfort a lot more compared to the first trimester. It was like, okay, light discomfort, but now it's like, okay, really discomfort. My stomach is bigger. Um, sleeping is not as easy. I find myself sleeping a little bit later lately, like around one, two, three o'clock. It's probably when I'll fall, actually eventually fall asleep and I, my stomach be feeling kind of tight, you know, so the baby's growing. So that's what the discomfort is happening you know my v area sometimes it feel like it's stretching you know sometimes when you're walking i don't know for mothers out there that already had kids i don't know if you ever experienced like it's like you hear a crack in your bone but it's like you know my hip expand i'm like <laughs> you know so that second trimester and what else you know i said like i said still have the cravings to have the appetite um there was light oh one thing i forgot to mention in the first trimester there was light light deep light dizziness it wasn't severe dizziness but like if i'm moving too much or if i didn't eat when the baby wanted to eat i will feel start feeling dizzy so now it's better second trimester mainly this trim you know during this trimester just discomfort and the discomfort of sleeping it's hard to sleep hard to fall asleep slight back pain and yeah that's about it for now oh i get tired more easily like if i'm walking i gotta stop a little bit more and i need to improve in drinking water i haven't been drinking water like what is recommended which is a gallon a day i haven't been so i need to improve now i'm in, i'm about to hit my third trimester my goal is to improve in drinking water and as well during my second trimester is when i found out that i have I'm anemic, but severe anemic, you know? So I really need to, so that's why, you know, I'm really focusing on getting back on track with eating more healthy, adding more vegetables. Uh, and you know, despite the cravings and stuff that I'm fighting that baby has me going crazy for. Um, because being anemic, you know, during the process of giving birth, you end up um, losing blood. So, and when they tested me, I'll, I'm considering so fear anemic so i'm really working on that so that's where my focus in is doing this trimester approaching the third trimester just eating a more overall balance adding more greens going back to, to what i know works for me and as well doing some adjustment because being anemic okay it's adding certain food that i know would help and then about to get certain supplements so i'll have both the food and the supplement and then of course increasing in water and so grateful i'm at a more peace peaceful place and peaceful mindset you know things are a little bit more calm and also doing this trimester the second trimester i found that i am very emotional i found myself like crying a little bit more like and the, the weird thing is crying for hugs like if i want a hug i'm like oh my god i want a hug <laughs> you know it's like i'm you know being so overly sensitive and overly more in my feelings which is not me but you know I, so that's that was something that took me getting used to i'm like okay and i'm still going through that where i'm like a bit overly emotional I find myself crying over certain things like if i smell a particular thing and it irritates me i'm like what is that you know i just want to start crying because it's really that particular smell is really irritating me and it just i don't know i just bust out crying about it so this is the second trimester that's what's going on but overall um, I'm so grateful because one of the things that I prayed for during this pregnancy, I prayed, I was like, God, you know, help me to um, just help me doing this, this pregnancy, help keep me, you know, and, you know, because during the first trimester as well, I was working like two jobs. So can you imagine working two jobs, being pregnant, catching the bus, living in Miami, Florida, catching the bus. Okay. So it was kind of hard, but the Lord really helped me and he really answer that prayer so doing my pregnancy overall he has kept me i haven't been 
throwing up. Like I said, even now my second trimester, no throwing up. Just the discomfort of things that I mentioned, but it's been overall pretty, a pretty good pregnancy, you know? Like being a single mom and being, you know, being by myself, living by myself, it's been, you know, like, like I see the hand of God, like God is really keeping me and uplifting me and, you know, and I live on, you know, I got climbed the stairs to bring the groceries when I go, um, but not really climb, but you know, go up the stairs to bring the groceries in. So, you know, to have the strength, despite the fact that I'm pregnant to carry the groceries up the stairs, you know, of course I don't, um, lift up things that's too, too heavy. Like for example, I would not buy a case of water and try to carry up, carry it up to the to the up the stairs to come to my apartment. No, I would not do that because, you know, I keep in mind that I'm pregnant, you know, and stuff like that. Certain things I just cannot carry, you know. So, but overall, it's been amazing. It's been beautiful throughout it all, and one of the greatest gifts that I'm like so grateful for. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus, is, um, you know, the fact that he blessed me with this shot, despite the circumstances, you know, because before I got pregnant, before I even knew I was pregnant, I used to cry because I, this is actually my first child. My other three kids, they don't live with me. So I used to cry about that and the circumstances high of why, you know, just like a lot of stuff. So being that when my other three kids was no longer with me it ended up being the month of october of 2019 and now this new baby that the lord has blessed me with is going to be born in the month of october which was the month where my other three kids where they you know was no longer living with me so it's like to me that's like god restoring me god you know like healing me because it was so much crying and so much pain that went behind closed doors so i'm just grateful and God has worked everything out for me finally after 10 years of you know experiencing different form of homelessness got my own place do, 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 do. glory to Jesus all to Jesus you know I cannot take the glory and credit for it so I'm so grateful like I said I'm about to welcome my baby into my own place God removed so much negativity and people that was not right for me you know in all different situation and circumstances so and he has blessed me with amazing friends amazing faith family so i'm just at a better peaceful place now and i'm just grateful and i can't wait to move on to the third trimester and i can't wait to come back and do a recap of the tri third trimester for you guys and if you guys have any questions you can leave it down in the comment below anything you want to know any questions you want to ask me don't forget to leave it in the comment below don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and share this video and see you guys soon for the third trimester recap oh and before i leave let me show you guys my baby bump okay and i can't wait to share with you guys as well the gender of the baby so stay tuned for that video where i do the gender of the baby and i'm a turning shoe which i'm working on with my friends so we could do it for this baby so it's gonna be so amazing so i'm just so excited for this new blessing and really am rejoicing for how amazing god is and yes so let's let me show you guys the baby bump okay guys so baby growing baby baby growing hold on it's trying to get in that hood of pants a little bit so this is my belly y'all 26 weeks pregnant okay guys so this is how my baby bump is looking okay so yes okay guys so this is how my baby bump is looking all right so yes uh oh 20 20 26 weeks pregnant okay i'm gonna put this down so i can see the extra okay so yep this is how it's looking guys little stretch mark Right here, I got a stretch mark here and here. <sighs> Y'all, about to hit the third trimester. Okay, so this belly has a little bit more growing to do. 
before it pop, 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 pop. Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to Nutrition in Jesus. Until next time, love you guys.